Okay, and here's my Montgomery Ward's airline radio. I got this from my grandparents, and when I got it, it didn't work. I ended up replacing uh, two, three, yeah, three of the tubes I ended up replacing, and it works now. Uh, I could use a little TLC, the case, a little, a few blemishes here, there, finish this coming off a little there. And on this side, you can see it's peeling off there a little bit from being handled over the years. But overall, it's not in that bad of shape. Go ahead and turn it on. Not much on the AM radio tonight. I'm a little iffy about taking this apart. I don't want to screw this up. There is a string that runs here. And that's what moves the dial indicator in the front. Constantly evolving the kind of, of uh, terms that are used in business new products. So, that's what I'm afraid of screwing up if I pull it apart. And, uh, it's important to understand what they are. Although I'm sure all those switches in the front could use a good cleaning. And here is where I had the power cord coming apart. I Actually, all the insulation was peeling off of it, so I cut it close to the radio where there was a little bit left that wasn't damaged. Used some wire nuts, and that works for now. Uh, and it looks like this radio only has one of the original tubes left. This uh, 6V6GT is an airline tube. It's got a Sylvania, and uh, yeah, this one here in the back. Uh, I can't see. That's an RCA. And the other ones are realistic tubes that I got back in... Mm, this is, it was about 93. I bought those at Radio Shack. There's a tag on it. 
But of course, they generally, as you point out in your book, uh, they generally have low annual operating expenses, but there's a reason for that. And one of the primary reasons for that is obviously is 11, the spiders, is obviously the queues, and many others. Uh, many of these funds are And the bill was for only a few dollars. I guess indexes. this is probably a repair tag, not a sale tag. And, uh, and there's uh, very little trading. Only one index has uh, changed their composition. Well, there's a... Uh, the fees are quite low, and that's one of the things that investors, individual investors should look for uh, in an investment. Uh, they should look for low well, fees. Fees uh, right. subtract from your... And that's it. So and, maybe uh, one of these days I will pull this part and than, uh, get it straightened uh, up. David L. Scott is our guest. Uh, I want to ask you, David, to put on your professor's cap from uh -huh. back, in your, uh, back in your classroom days at Valdosta State University and uh, address this.